insurer thing is a UK startup, but two thirds of the co-founders are actually German. During the past few months, we've seen them working very late hours, and we are sure that thrive and focus is what keeps them going. Although the 50 cans of Diet Coke they drink every day had an impact too. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> Insure a thing um, are really turning the insurance, or maybe not insurance, on its head. And what they're up to is taking cycle insurance as a starter for 10 and uh, working out how they can truly disrupt the game as it plays today. I think fundamentally that's about getting much more participation from the customer and thinking about um, risk in a very different way and getting people to participate in thinking about and managing risk. So I actually worked with Toby uh, very early on in his whole process. He came to me with this absolutely, what I felt at the time was bonkers idea. Everyone else in this space is talking to um, fixing, putting, you know, a last plus over a, a current issue and making it more efficient. Whereas Toby said, no, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do something completely different. And that's kind of the craziness that drew me to this. For me, it was just that whole idea that he wanted to do something very different with insurance to change that model, which was really quite exciting. And very, very, very much, it was something that was new. While it's not explicitly about the sharing economy in the sense that um, someone isn't sleeping in my spare room, um, fundamentally it is about getting people to participate and make decisions and be active in the choices and the outcomes. And I think it's that activity in choices and outcomes that's exciting and that's, um, you know, that links into that whole shared piece. So I think if you, if you compare a uh, sure thing to a superhero, you could pick any of the Marvel guys in my mind. You could go Spider-Man or Superman or otherwise. Each of them goes in, they put on a costume and they do something different in their spare time. You see, I think it's more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because I think it's the collective that's important here. It's a new world. It's a new world. Good afternoon. 25th January 2017 was a great day. The Dow Jones broke 20,000 points the first time ever, and La La Land was nominated for a record 14 Oscars. But something far more important happened that day. The regulator triggered but will be regarded as a catalyst for change in the UK insurance sector and beyond. They published payout ratios and claims frequencies for UK non-life players, and the results were as many might have suspected. The press was quick to pick up on it, and the headlines speak for themselves. What are these customers paying for, you might ask yourself. Rightfully so. The regulator called to action, and we responded. I'm Toby, founder of Insurer Thing, and we make money when we settle claims. This is quite the opposite of the current approach, where insurers predict margins, predict claims and margins on top. We instead um, charge at the end of the month based on the actual cost of claims. We are making money when we settle claims. We are starting with bicycles, an attractive niche market. Three and a half million bikes were sold in the UK alone last year. More relevant, however, customers face theft and death and damage over 300 million pounds every single year. By now, we have talked to dozens of cyclists, and they face similar problems. Take Jack. His home insurance policy covers his bike in a five miles radius from home only. He lives in Croydon, works near the city. That's 12 miles, door to door. Jack takes the train. Actually, Jack was one of the few people aware of his exclusions. Are you aware of them? Let me talk you through a quick example of how it would look in our world. Meet Ken. Ken is an avid cyclist and a fashion icon, as you can see. 
He eats mouths for breakfast and some more for lunch. He's a total nutter. He visits our website and enters the value of his bike and is given two things. The maximum price he will ever have to pay and the much lower average price he can expect to pay with us. He enters a few more details to the platform and takes a quick video to introduce himself. That's it, he's covered. We place Ken in a group of cyclists who act and feel like he does. In his first month, the group has five claims, we settle instantly. At the end of the month, we charge Ken his fraction of the cost of claims. Again, fully transparent. But no worries, we cap the exposure at a certain threshold through an agreement with an insurance partner. He doesn't have to worry. More importantly, however, if they all take better care of their belongings, of their bikes, they will pay less, significantly less. How do we make money? We add 25% on top of claims. Customers can expect to pay half the price they would pay elsewhere. Legacy free. And our cover comes with no exclusion. Better, if there are no claims, the cover is for free. We are the first startup connecting the dots. And we have just closed our pre-seed round led by EOS Venture Partners. Thanks. <laughs> we are committed to working with the most innovative players in the sector and are currently finalizing terms with two insurance partners. More to come in the month of May. The catalyst is a changing regulatory landscape. It's the FCA's ambition to foster innovation to the benefit of consumers. And we are working with them to make things happen. This is not a concept. What used to be a vision becomes real. We are launching our first product, cover for high-value bicycles against theft, damage, and loss on the 1st of June, 2017. From quitting my job in Canary Wharf to launch in less than 10 months. For that, we've assembled an exceptional team. Ben, our tech guru, with vast experience in building platforms. Jens used to be the COO of Startup Bootcamp InsureTech and has worked with hundreds of startups. And I started out in insurance and most recently worked in M&A covering fintech and insurance clients. Jack is our rockstar developer and Claire, our operations genius. None of this would have been possible without the help of our stellar advisors and access to a vast ecosystem, including Anthemis and Stella Bootcamp. Thanks for being part of the journey. So, what's next for us? We believe our model can be applied across the UK non-life sector, and products like personal accident or dental come to mind quickly. We are starting improving our model with high-value bicycles, and we will be the new standard to who insurers will be compared. Only you know what's most important to you. And we will cover it, one after the other. We have funding to launch and validate our business model, and we'll be announcing a seed round later this year on the back of a successful test in the market. Today, we're looking for cyclists. We have partnered with one of the leading cycling fairs in London, Spin London, um, do visit us today or enter, sign up online to enter the draw to win your pair of free tickets. It's a new world, ensure a thing, join the ride. Thank you. <laughs>